So greetings, friends and followers. This is Nurses Talking. Hi, I'm Dale Barsi. As always, if you like what you see and hear, subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Today, I am on the beautiful island of Montserrat, and I am talking to a veteran nurse, a retired veteran nurse. Her name is Nurse Cooper. And in Montserrat, as in many parts of the Caribbean, um, nurses, teachers, lawyers, doctors all get their title. So we refer to her as Nurse Cooper. And Nurse Cooper, I'm very, very, very thrilled that you agreed to talk to me today. And so I want to know, why did you become a nurse? Well, while I was going to school, as I grew older, I said I would like to be a health nurse. We had health nurse about, we had one health nurse. She used to ride a horse and come to the clinic, mm -hmm. come to the school. Nurse Beryl Shoy. And I said, I would like to be like her. I mean, mm -hmm. in the position that she's in, not necessarily on horseback, <laughs> but be able to go around and look after sick people and so. Okay. So when I left school, I got a standard seven certificate. Uh -huh. And then I got a job at the clinic. Nurse Buffon, I think, was the nurse there. And um I got a job as a clinic maid. Okay. So I used to walk to town every Saturday with a big basket on my head with all of the empties from the clinic, go to the hospital, get the things, and go back. They weren't paying you to take the bus, so you had to walk So, or if you had any money. How far was that? What clinic? Very was far. Uh -huh. In the east, I, I was living at Truitt's. And that's near to Long Ground. Uh -huh. And um, there was a matron. We had Miss Anne Bain. She came from England. And she told me that she think I should apply for nursing. So I did. And I was accepted because I had the standard seven certificate. Mm -hmm. I... We had to sit exam. I sat the exam and I passed it. And I had to work for 19 months without any pay. Okay. We had to give free service. They didn't give you any allowance or anything. So it was real hard, but you you have to have stick to itness. Yes, yes. In order to succeed. In indeed you do. So at the time they had some district nurses. I can't remember all of them. But some of them they were renting people's property. Mm -hmm. Like ever don't say at Harris's there was this lady. They used to keep the doctor's clinic in the ladies' um, apartment downstairs. Mm -hmm. And I think afterwards they went to the police station, but they used the police station for certain things. Mm. Then, as a nurse, you had to pass me Jiffy first, okay. not general nursing. Okay. And the lectures were given by the doctor uh -huh. and the matron of the hospital. There were 16 nurses to, who served the hospital. And there was 
two doctors. At that time, we had a population of about 13 to 14,000 people. We had Dr. Brown, who was the district medical officer. We had Dr. Jones, who was the surgeon, and he also was a, an eye doctor. So he used to do eye surgery uh -huh. and general surgery. So when I passed my MGF, I was sent on the district to work. And I worked at St. Patrick's for the first. Mm -hmm. And then to Bethel, to Harris's. And all that time, you're preparing for your general nurse. Okay, I was going to And the matron used to give the lectures so, and the doctors. So did you have to come back to the hospital at different times to get lectures? Yes. Yes. And my brain is getting sort of... I wouldn't say empty. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not empty. It's so, still full. Tell me this, though. How much time or did you get as a student nurse? Um, half day per week. And you got a whole day. I don't know if every two weeks. Mm. And then when the time came for Holidays, you got your holidays. But it's only, as I said, only half a day in the beginning mm -hmm. and a day a little after that. So what time What time did you start work in the mornings? Seven o'clock. Till when? Um, four. Okay. And then there was one from four people. Some people came on at four. Um, it was different. It was different. You get you got ten to twelve. Oh, okay. Twelve to two. Mm -hmm. Three to five, and five to seven. Okay. Those were the times of June. Break. During the day. Okay. Okay. Uh, How long before you were able to qualify as a general nurse? Oh, maybe about. To the years. Okay. Because, you know, it wasn't, um, we didn't have an, uh, uh, you didn't have a formal program? Yes, you knew, you but mm -hmm. you got lectures from mm -hmm. the doctors on different things, and the matron gave you what pertains to nursing mm -hmm. and when I after I qualified as a general nurse I was sent to Jamaica it was so early no I went to Jamaica in 1959 Mm. And I was on the district before that. Okay. They sent me on the district. I was there for a number of years. Mm -hmm. Then I was sent to Jamaica to do public health. Okay. And I, I went there 1959. How long was that course? One year. Okay. And then I came back home. And then I, when you... Went and got training mm -hmm. as a general nurse. You were you could you you could have been qualified as a this as a, a public health public health nurse. Mm -hmm. And then I worked as a public health nurse for I don't remember how many years, but in. 19, when was that boy? <laughs> I don't remember, but I went out. The, the, the opportunity came up that there was this course for 
Famine, uh, to be trained as a family nurse practitioner. Uh -huh. And I was sent to Jamaica along with another nurse. I finished that, came back home, and worked as a family nurse practitioner mm -hmm. for until I retired. I retired in 1988. So that was quite a journey. Yes. Because that... you started as the clinic maid and you ended as a yes. family nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And I had many, many overseas training courses in yeah. different things, mm -hmm. immunization, maternal child care, um, things like that. Mm -hmm. Eye care. Okay. okay. Care, care. Eye care. I think I did something in eyes, yes. So I was training a lot of areas uh -huh. of nursing. So I I did contribute in many ways to the well-being of the island. And Mejifi, you had to do Mejifi, mm -hmm. and you had to walk those days there was no drive or anything i went to roaches to deliver from st patrick's that's a good long way that's many oh, miles yes. <laughs> to yes yeah, st patrick's and um we did all the the the, the deliveries on the district yeah only if there was difficulty with the mother, mm -hmm. that they were, the, the mothers were admitted to the hospital for delivery. But all deliveries, except in emergencies, were done on the district. Sometimes when you went, the mother already delivered the baby. <laughs> yeah, because you had to walk such a long way. <laughs> they had to walk to come to call you. Yeah. And then walk to go back there. Yeah. <laughs> So and when, the babies were not about to wait. <laughs> yes, they, they, so um we were we were involved in every aspect of nursing. And then when we started, I should have said this earlier, when we started working, when they started paying us, mm -hmm. it was twenty-six dollars a month. Twenty-six dollars a month. <laughs> But we made it. I was about to ask, how far did that go? It went far. Okay. Because things are very cheap. Okay. And um, there was no stove or anything at that time. You're using coal pot mm -hmm. and coal. So mm -hmm. you had your coal customer. Mm -hmm. And you had hurricane. Um, uh -huh. And... No, no, no electricity was there. I did no, because they had a gas lamp, so somebody had to be there holding the gas lamp while the surgeon did. So let, let me ask you, what kind of years was this? 1940s, 1950? No, no, I started nursing in 1950. 1950. So yes. in in the 1950s, in 1950s, they were still holding gas lamps in the yes, theater. yes, and and we had hurricane lamp. Well, it was. And uh, any any emergency yeah. that there is a gas lamp. Wow, that's and nice. somebody had to hold it. Mm -hmm. And the surgeon and the surgeon sometimes was sweating so much because the place is so hot. So somebody had to be there mopping <laughs> his face. And um, something else I was going to say. Oh, those days you used to have people with a lot of ulcers. Mm -hmm. And you had to wash them, wash the bandages by hand, mm -hmm. hang them out to be used the next time. Mm -hmm. Because that, that is what was there, what yeah. was available. Yeah. And... <laughs> The food from the kitchen, it used to come up in a tray on your head. Bring it in the ward, put it on the table, 
and share out the food mm -hmm. and give the patients. But I think the food was already shared. Oh, but you had just had the hand out. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. Great. I think that's about it. So, of all the various things that you did, mm -hmm. which would you say you like the best? Like the best. I think I like everything. When I came yeah. back from Jamaica, from St. Vincent, where we did the family nurse practitioner, mm -hmm. I maybe I like that most or uh, mm -hmm. community nursing for me was a big thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because you 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 got in contact with the entire community. Yeah, right. Yes. The elderly, the teenagers. We used to do school health mm. and the other things. Okay. Before no. school health, child welfare clinics and the whole everything, thing. everything that dealt with health, we were involved. Yeah. And um my story may sound bitty bitty, but I think I should have written, which I did not. So I could have missed out a lot. But I enjoyed nursing. Okay. And I thank God that I, I was in good health. I had surgery. I had a ruptured appendix at one time. Mm, wow. And um, I got over it. And um, some people had ruptured appendix and they died. They died. Yes. But God spare me. Okay. And so I am here today. Yes, telling me this whole beautiful story. I have, I have one more question. Mm -hmm. What would you tell somebody who wants to be a nurse? What advice would you give them? They need to be sure what they want to do. And you have to be a caring person. You, you want to be sure that you want to be involved. And as I say, there are things that I might have forgotten, but <laughs> um, not too much. Brain. Not too much. You haven't forgotten too much, I don't think. <laughs> So here's the thing. I really, really want to thank you for talking to me today. I appreciate it. It's a big deal for me. And you have been a big deal for nursing in Montserrat. Well, I was I did nursing for 38 years. And there were tough times. Yeah. But we made it. But you made it. Now mm -hmm. Joseph. Mm -hmm. Nurse Francis, mm -hmm. Nurse Mary Alice, yes. Um, Nurse White, Nurse White, yes. Mm -hmm. And others that yeah. I don't. Nurse Barzi. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who are watching, she doesn't need me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said Nurse Barzi, mm -hmm. and I was saying that not me. There was another Nurse Barzi. <laughs> Captain Barzi. Not to your your I can't give your legal. As it was, we had what, what we call charge nurses. Yeah, those are the most senior ones. Mm -hmm. Now Susan mm -hmm. must have heard about her. Yes, and Nurse Bazzi, and Nurse William Doris Williams, and Nurse Cadogan, Nurse Richardson. Those were the senior nurses. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I I don't know if you have any more, have any more questions, but um I just want to thank you for talking to me, <laughs> for racking your brain, taking it all the way back, and bringing all that stuff out and letting us know what it was like. It's good for us to know what it was like for those on whose shoulders we stand. So thank you. Mm -hmm.